Tecmo NBA Basketball, released in 1992 on the NES. This one is worth checking out. When it comes to Tecmo sports games in the early 90s, they were ahead in all facets of development. Their first advantage, intro videos. Who besides Tecmo was creating almost one minute intros before you even get to the title screen? Now I'm sure there's a few NES games that have intros like this, but when it comes to sports games, Tecmo was the only one doing it. Their first game with an introduction like this was the one and only Tecmo Super Bowl. It's fair to say that Tecmo NBA Basketball isn't as well known as Tecmo Super Bowl, but so far, this game is doing a great job creating the hype. The intro, the music, it's all clicking for me. So was Tecmo NBA Basketball good enough to create its own legacy? There's only one way to find out. Tonight's matchup. Versus Blades of Steel. Now, if you remember, Tecmo Super Bowl did not have music on its menu screens. Not only does this game have music, but it's probably one of the best tracks that they've ever created. I've already used this track in two of my other videos, and honestly, it never gets old for me. Now let's take a look at one of Tecmo's other sports game advantages for the time on the NES. First of all, look at these individual player profiles. Tell me that headshot does not look a lot like Karl Malone. At the time, this was the best we ever seen on the NES when it comes to headshots, and I'll go as far as to say they are improved from Tecmo Super Bowl. One other thing before we get to the game, look at these fully colored logos. I know it seems elementary, but for the time, this was a big deal, and the cut above the rest. Alright, here's the tip-off cutscene, another thing Tecmo brilliantly added to their games. Lumberjack Cracks is in white, and he is the Utah Jazz, and Slapshot Sean is the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan in the game. The only reason I emphasize that is because Michael Jordan was the most popular athlete in the sport at the time, and he was absent from most video games in the 90s. First of all, let's take a look at the graphics. For the NES, it looks pretty solid, although there are a few things that stand out. If you take a look at the court, it looks pretty accurate, although I could do without the solid black lines. If you are standing on a basketball court and you look closely at it, you can see that there are lines in the court. But from the view we're looking at to play the game, which is pretty much like a TV broadcast, you wouldn't see the lines. The other thing I have to point out is the player flickering. Look at how parts of their body disappear while they're running down the floor. Even though this looks bad, it was impressive at the time to even get 10 players on the court moving around. So I guess we could give Tecmo a little break for that. As far as the controls, they're fairly simple. On offense, A passes and B shoots. On defense, A switches player, and B is of steal and a block depending on what situation you're in. Now even though I'm not playing in this game, I played a few games to get a feel for it. Offensively, like many other early sports basketball simulations, it's tough to get around your defender because they stick on you like glue. Without any crossovers, spin moves, or even turbo, it's tough. To this game's credit, if you have a player with raw speed, you can breeze by defenders. When I was playing the computer with the Bulls, Michael Jordan felt like the Bo Jackson of Tecmo NBA basketball. I was just flying by everybody and going for dunks. Just like Bo prances down the field and goes for touchdowns. Shooting is also very easy. You just press the button and if your player has good ratings, then more of the shots go in. Defensively, it was a little awkward to have one button perform both pass and steal, but after one game, it was easy to get used to. It's that time to cut to the highlights. Let's see if Lumberjack Cracks can get his first victory or if Slapshot Sean is going to be the third straight opponent to win in their debut. Stock for three! It's good! Uh -huh. Boom! Oh, it's great! Oh, 
going down. about my talent in basketball games is it's more of an arcade basketball game okay uh, we're playing simulation here so that's the difference yeah I mean those times where I thought I was gonna go up and dunk just stopped in front of that and took a shot did have that sweet dunk by Bill Cartwright though yeah was, there was a cutscene yeah, dunk that was pretty sweet I was surprised there wasn't as many cutscenes interesting enough the there's no shooting stat there's a shooting range stat this game captured simulation pretty well. You did get a lot of flashing though because there is so many sprites on the screen so it's refreshing constantly. And then if you got three or four guys next to each other it was hard to tell where the ball was. You're pretty much just looking for the number above your head. I don't know where the you ball probably is got a going. block off of that too. Oh, I'm sure I did. <laughs> I thought uh, Tecmo Basketball was pretty solid. Uh, I definitely think it's something worth exploring. Uh, only playing it once, I definitely would want to play again, so I'd probably give this a B plus. Not an A, but definitely a B plus. It's it was good. I'm not a big basketball game kind of fan, but it was it's a pretty solid simulation. I liked it. So I'll go B minus. This game is the best basketball simulation experience you're going to get on the NES. The presentation, player profiles, stat tracking, and NBA logos in the game are unmatched. That being said, the gameplay really isn't that engaging and it gets old quick. You're probably better off going with something on the Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis in 1992. I would still give this game though a B-. The result of the game was pretty quality. Give Matt a whooping, so it felt great. That didn't feel great. Oh, it felt amazing. I'm back on the IPA train with Viejo, and this is the second time I'm recommending a beer from Half Acre Beer Company. This is another one of their seasonal beers, and you know what? It's fairly bitter, but they go down smooth. And yet, it's another can that has crafty <laughs> can art. So did Techno NBA Basketball create its own legacy on the NES?
I don't think so. It looks like we're going to have to check out Tecmo Super NBA Basketball on the Super Nintendo and Tecmo NBA Basketball on the Sega Genesis another day. Legends are not made on dunks like these. They're made on dunks like these. Take another look. Up high off the glass, this from a different angle, and watch this reverse. Oh, what timing! Boy, that guy really can do it. Ooh, yeah!